based off of what we have here, let's find the double angle for the sine and cosine and then the half angle for the sine and cosine of a given angle right here. So what I'm going to do is I know the secant is equal to the 1 over the cosine, which is the same thing as r over x. So this is the same thing as 3 over 1. So I know my, my cosine is actually equal to 1 third in this case. So then my sine is going to be equal to um, sine greater than 0. And because the secant's uh, greater than 0, this means this angle has to be in quadrant 1. So then the sine of theta, or uh, sine of theta is going to be equal to 3 squared minus 1 squared, which is equal to 8 and square root of 8. So this ends up being square root of 8 or 2 root 2. All right, so now we can go ahead and do this. So sine of 2 theta is going to be equal to 2 times 1 third times um, 2 root 2 over 3, which ends up being 4 root 2 over 9. The cosine of 2 theta is going to be equal to cosine squared, which is equal to 1 third squared. Um, minus the sine squared, which is going to be equal to 2 root 2 over 3 squared. Ends up being 1 over 9 minus let's see, 4 times 2, 8 over 9, which ends up being negative 7 ninths, let's see, 13. That's right, negative 7 ninths. All right, for the half angle of sine of theta, we're going to get, because this is a positive value, it's, they're both going to be positive. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have square root of 1 minus 1 third over 2, which is the same thing as so it ends up being 2 thirds divided by 2, which is equal to, um, hold on a second here, square root of 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So plus or minus square root of 1 third. And yeah, you can carry this out further. You can make this just square root of 3 over 3 by getting rid of the radical on the bottom. And then the cosine on the bottom, or cosine on the bottom, the half angle of the cosine, that also is going to be a positive value. So we're going to get 1 plus 1 third divided by 2, which is equal to 4 over 3 divided by 2, which is equal to 4 over 6, 2 over 3, and we're going to get 2 root 3 divided by 3. And that is it almost. Hold on. I made a little mistake here. Um, actually, oops. What happens here? This should be, let me redo this. So it should be square root of 2 over the square root of 3. Get rid of the radical on the bottom, and you end up with root 6 over 3. And finally, um, this is a positive value because the half angle of, uh, cosine in this case keeps in quadrant 1. So that's it. Those are the right answers.